Hi everyone. You know, last week we shared with you the incredible news that we were able to receive the, the funding needed to put those food kits together for the families in Maplat. And this past weekend we mobilized our team and we were able to get everything ready. And on June 7th, uh, on Sunday, we were able to transport everything and get them to Maplat and feed the families. So we wanted to share with you how the distribution went and this, this video. I know that we shared with you guys already um, this clip, but we wanted to go over with you again the contents that went into each food kit. So as you can see, we have rice, we have peas or beans. Um, they all received um, bouillon cubes, which they call Maggi, uh, tomato paste. They each received um, cans of salmon, fish, and oil. Each bag got one of the gallons of oil along with uh, two bars of soap per bag and we have these large detergent bags which have um, been divided into individual bags that went into each kit as well. So as you can see this is the team here uh, assembling all of the different um, items. We've started with the rice and the large sacks were basically divided in half and then put into these black bags which then were of course put into the, um, the food kit packages. So. so thankful for this team. I can't imagine how much work it was to put together all 100 bags. So, you know, we're, we're really praying for them that they get blessed through this because it was a lot. So now we have all 100 bags here laid out in the yard and they're putting in the canned salmon in each one. And this is the full view of 100 complete food kits. Our brother here, Olwich, he has been so awesome just putting everything together and leading this for us as he's there. Um, so this is, this is a complete look at the whole bundle that will be going up, or that went up, I should say. 4.37, he was up and ready and loaded the truck and was off on Sunday, June 7th. Um, here, he's about five minutes away from the church. And as you can see, there are already people there. You know, we called ahead and let them know so that they could assemble. He got up there no problem and was able to um, see all the people and say hi. And they're all graciously waiting calmly for their food kits. So as always, you know, we always start everything with prayer and, and there, you know, especially they love to, to sing and just take a little bit of time to just be thankful to God for this blessing. Um, So here everyone's just saying thank you to God. Thank you for this for this awesome project. So here we have Owich um, handing out the masks and he's just basically giving everybody a little bit of run through, talking to them about social distancing, talking about why the mask is important, talking about the coronavirus. Uh, little did we know, no act nobody has actually gone up and talked to the community about it. So you're going to see a lady here talking in a couple seconds here where she's describing that no authority has come up to either distribute masks, talk about masks, or even discuss the coronavirus with them. So that was really really informative and um, you know great that they can wash them and that now that they have the detergent as well to be able to reuse them so they're really thankful so here we have the food distribution taking place each family receives their their one bag and kind of calmly all lining up as you can see everyone's got them and they look really heavy which of course is a really good thing if they're heavy that basically means there's a lot for them inside so they're excited and happy and I can imagine everybody's going to be going you know went home that night and cooked a really great meal for their family and went to bed with full belly so that in itself is awesome we are just so thankful you know everybody was just so happy as you can see their faces just so excited so um, yeah it was a really great day so Owich here is just talking about how many people showed up and how many kits we gave out we had 105 um, kits that we handed out to 105 families. So that's 
over 400 people, which is amazing. We want to thank everybody who stood in faith with us, who prayed for this, who gave uh, for this project. And you know, we want to um, share with you that this is just getting started. There's so many more needs. The, there's so many more families who, who would benefit from this. And we would like to invite you, if you want to be a part of this as an individual, if you want to get your church involved, you know, just message us and we can move forward and make a greater impact for God in Haiti.